Level zero duck, show us what you've got. When you inevitably fail, we're gonna pump you so full of steroids that you're gonna tear the earth in half. Three steps. He made it three whole steps before it was a problem. <laughs> Nothing a little performance enhancer won't solve. And now this little bundle of wonder can make it all the way to the finish line, four meters away. That wasn't very fast, but you can always get faster by doing running training. I think I will. In fact, we're gonna take running training to the extreme. Before doing anything, let's see what a level zero duck looks like in a race. He actually almost won that. So let's do some training and make sure he very much wins that. And we can get rich along the way. The deeper we go, the better. Make your own jokes there. We're down 55 layers already. This is going much better than I expected and we're not even cheating yet. 88 levels on the first run before I got pinched out, but look at our running level up. 15 levels on one training. We're gonna try this training too, which is basically don't get hit by things falling out of the sky, which should be a natural instinct if you're intelligent. The strategy here is basically move a little bit. Things basically ow, aim for you, and once they aim for you, just take a step forward. They'll aim for you there, take a step forward again. Six levels. There might be a bigger hitbox than I anticipated though, so maybe take a generous step forward after something tries to hit you. And lastly for running training, we have dodging rocks. We jump over them, we jump over them again, and we jump over them again. We're gonna have some mighty strong legs after all of this. This one so far is actually really, really easy. It is a game for four-year-olds, but that means it's at about the limit of my potential. Okay, I made it 188 whatevers, smashed into a rock, let's see what we get for experience. All the way up to 47. But now for the secret recipe, you're gonna go up there, <laughs> we're gonna buy some of these. Stuff yourself full of those. And while my duck is stuffing itself full of performance enhancers, I'll drink coffee. Now let's try that race again now that we're level 50. Oh boy, I hope I have enough energy to make it to the end of this small, small race. Should we hit the booster? Turn on the jets. There we go. Easy victory. And it turns out we can race them again if we want to. Uh, it's a very short race, so I feel like this is an easy way of making some money. Looks like I was right. 60 coins. But 60 wasn't good enough, so there's 700. Enjoy your feast, my little friend. Just don't disappoint me ever again, or I'll have you incinerated and get a new duck. This is actually going to take a minute. Alright, let's see what $700 of steroids does. Before I could hit my booster, twice before I ran out of energy. Now I can hit it, well, three times before running out of energy, so that's actually a really big increase. <laughs> yeah, I went from about 47 energy to 150. So let's put Idiot back to work. This time I made it to 287, which was better than last time, which is going to be a lot of experience. Which brings me all the way up to 79. Which means that if we race our single duck again, we'll move even faster again. He has no chance at all. The next step naturally is to hack the game and turn my running all the way up to the maximum, 150. What does max level running look like against this duck. I have a feeling we're gonna win because that's a base level duck and we're maxed. <laughs> but we're not done there today. How about 200 running? That's beyond max. I think at some point we're gonna break the entire universe with the skills of this duck. He's gonna be <laughs> too quick or too fast or too strong. Easy victory. His energy levels are only 150. It's nothing 10,000 coins can't fix. And that's apparently unlimited. So He's got a big pile of steroids to go through. I could just manually increase his stats, but it's more fun to force him to eat this stuff for the next month. And after all that, let's try the tournament. I think we're gonna go ahead and use the level 200 duck for every race. So let's see if he's gonna win at his ridiculous level. So far we got a pretty commanding lead. I don't think anyone is gonna overtake us. Race number two, we're gonna incorporate some boost just to be safe. Okay, there's one boost two boosts. That actually uses a lot of energy, but I think we won. And this is only level 200. We can take this so much further. Race number three, I think you get the idea. We're going to boost off there to try and get a little air, and we're done. That unlocks the swamp, where we can race this guy for swimming. Our swimming level is currently level zero, but we're so much quicker than him running, we might still be able to win this gonna be close. As soon as we touch ground though, we're gone. Yeah, I think we're gonna win this one. <laughs> Swimming level zero and we still won the race. Swimming training consists of don't touch the top or the bottom. Balance your little duck. Try not to crash him into anything that would hurt him. I really like this one because the number on the left goes up really fast and makes me feel good about myself. We're already at 300. And there's 500. We hardly even need to cheat at this one. I crashed somewhere at 6 or 700. We'll see where that takes us. 12 levels for all that? Well, on this training, it goes a little bit slower but it's a little bit more pleasant. This one is diving as deep as you can into the water, which means you gotta orient the duck just right so he goes real deep. You get rewarded for that. I like this one because it's over so very quickly. So I'll give him a turn and you go to the water. I can't remember how you're supposed to angle him, but there's almost a thousand. I'm definitely strangely amused by this. We're gonna get him better by throwing him in the water. That brings him up to level 30 very quickly. Did I say 30? I meant 200. And you know what that means. Time to celebrate. Get in there. He was at max energy anyway. I just like to force 
force him to eat performance enhancers. We've moved his energy up to 200 regardless. So let's once again race this duck, who we beat at level 0 swimming. We have level 200, which is way beyond what's supposed to be the max level, so we're pretty much a motorboat. We're gonna hop along there. We're not slowing down a little bit. Look at how determined he is. I don't know if we're even gonna see the other duck before the race ends. And this is only level 200. To be eligible for the tournament, we need to beat this duck, so let's see if we can manage to win. I suspect we got a pretty clear advantage, especially with the long swim and run. Done. Now for the tournament, I think we're going to use this duck three times in a row. And that's going to look something like this. We're off to a pretty good start. We got some acceleration with those tiny little legs that are incredibly strong. <laughs> and then we go for a slide and we pick ourselves up and we're done. Race number two has another mudslide. I'm not sure if we're quicker uh, than the other ducks on that part. Doesn't seem like it. But when it comes to running and swimming, we certainly have an advantage. The final race, more of the same. Which unlocks us the mountains where we get to learn a brand new skill. So we're going to race a flying duck and we don't yet know how to fly. We have level zero skills. Skills. I'm thinking our running uh, and swimming is going to be enough to carry me through this anyway. He has no chance at all. He is a faster flyer than us, but we're like lightning. Uh, flying training consists of launching my duck out of a cannon, which I'm very happy to do like that. And then we bounce off the target, 89. So it's just about kind of finding the right trajectory, hopefully, and then launching the duck and we get a score. They do get a little bit harder. This one's actually kind of hard to see. We'll pretend something like that is, whoops, well, zero. That did get us two whole levels, which isn't that bad. If you put the dots close enough, you can kind of cheat because, you know, you don't get a lot of coins. We don't need a lot of coins. But you can basically just land the dot right where you want the duck to go, and it's pretty foolproof. Uh, except on this one, naturally. So we'll just kind of, uh, I don't know how the duck flies, but it's good enough. Aside from that, there's a much better flying training where all you have to do is follow that duck which gets you a lot more experience than the other one. That brought us all the way to level 36. I barely even need to cheat that one. Uh, this flying training has me flying through the sky. Basically, I need to touch the berries and they make me go higher. And it's not very good for experience, so I wouldn't spend a lot of time on this one. Not that we have to, but it is kind of amusing nonetheless. My favorite part is thinking about how he gets down from here. Made it all the way up to level 200 on that one, which will give me more experience. Level 55 really isn't bad, but it's also not as good as 250, which is 100 above the normal maximum. So let's see what the Matrix does, does in comparison to this guy. We're going to run faster than ever before, we're going to swim faster, and we're going to fly faster. We're just like a lightning bolt, we don't stop for anything. He's going to be so far gone that he might as well not exist anymore. And we can still go, presumably, four times faster at least. I don't know how big the numbers go, but we're going to find out. I think even with just these skills as it is, we could probably win the rest of the game. But we're not going to stop there, there's no mercy. Which brings us to the tournament that I think we're probably the strong favorite in. The first flight goes very well. The slide part always feels weird because we do slow down, but so do they. That was a really short race and we still won by a huge margin. I haven't even been using the boost, which you probably should. I have a lot of energy anyway, so we're going to boost over the edge. Don't use up too much of my energy because we can run out still. That would be embarrassing, but I think we're okay here. This one starts with the mudslide. That's exciting. Mm, we're going to be just fine. Up the mountain, down the mountain, through the skies. Nothing stops this duck. Nothing. We've dominated everything so far with our cheater duck onto the glacier. I'm not sure what skill it is we're supposed to be training here, but we're going to race him anyway because we're better at running climbing. He's a much faster climber than we are. That could spell trouble. As soon as we're up though, we're gonna go along and didn't actually win that one. Oh, apparently we did. There's a lot of wiggle room there. So with level zero climbing, we win the climbing tournament. So you know what that means. We're gonna make it rain purple berries. Get in there. Okay, training for climbing involves climbing ladders, naturally. But this is actually pretty easy. You just steer over to where the ladder is. He climbs on up, no fuss. The controls are a little bit janky, but you barely have to touch the ladder for him to climb. I don't know if this pays well experience-wise, and the screen is starting to move very quickly, but you can cut the corners really badly. Uh, almost lost it there because I cut the corner too much, He's learning the boundaries. It is still pretty forgiving. It is a child's game after all, but... Seven levels! We're ready to destroy the world. This one is fun. You have to hide from avalanches, which eventually go by. <laughs> you come back out and climb up the mountain. You've got 30 seconds to get to the top before getting killed. Uh, the warning sign does sit there for quite a while before it goes off. I guess you're just kind of guessing as to when the next cave is going to be. Like, if we don't find one right now, we're dead. I say we, like it's us die. It's the duck that dies. And you know what? I won't miss him that much. Like, on this one, we're probably just going to go for this cave and play it safe. Uh, and... No now he's stuck, so what a wonderful duck. This one's defective. Can I get a new duck? So this one's definitely harder than it looks. I think the strategy is probably really just sit in a cave, wait for an avalanche, go to the next cave, and wait. It's not a very exciting strategy. Not a very exciting training. Presumably you're just trying to go as high as you possibly can before the timer runs out. I mean, there's no avalanche sign. Do we just keep going then? Might as well. The timer's gonna run out. 
There was like three avalanches. Wait, here comes another one, but the timer's gonna run out anyway. What happens then? Never mind. The mysteries in life just can't be solved. There's level 18. The next training involves touching the blue parts of the wall. Don't climb the other parts. Luckily, he's super speedy about switching sides. So you just stick to whatever's blue. Don't touch whatever's not. Absolutely fascinating stuff. We'll be there in no time. It does get pretty quick towards the end. And our duck is working his little muscles. He doesn't even have arms. He's doing this all with his little legs. His incredibly strong universe ending legs. Got up to 1100 so far. When I panic, I just go back and forth. And then I eventually stick to whatever I'm supposed to. <laughs> Look at him go now. He's so quick. We're up over 1,500. This duck definitely won't last much longer. It's getting very hard to keep up with whatever's happening. Uh, I don't know if you even could do that part. Like, I'm still apparently alive, but I've got almost 2,000. That was worth quite a bit of experience, but I'm not going to do that for the next four hours. I'm just sort of going to call it good there. And our duck is up to level 250 across the board. We don't have jumping yet, but we got everything else. So this guy wants to race. We're at 250s across the board, so we're going to beat him in every category, especially climbing. Wow. And I don't even need to use the bow boost, and there's swimming and everything. We're done. We're not even going to see him. This is the race that unlocks a tournament. I think we're probably going to beat Angry Duck. He's probably not going to be very happy with us. This is just a really long flight. And our flying skill is really strong. We almost flew right across the gap. And we're done. But I don't think we're winning good enough now, so let's increase our stats a little more. 333 across the board. That should make Angry Duck even angrier, but I just want to see the difference that actually makes, because that's a big step up in stats again. Okay, we're definitely cruising along there. We should touch the wall before we even hit the ground, I think. Yep, catch the wall, up we go. We even flew at the top and we're done. I'm ready for the tournament. I think we're going to make it. All the way up the wall <laughs> at light speed. Oh, we did a double roll there. That's how confident we are. We're doing extra rolls when we don't have to. Jump all the way across and uh, I think we're going to win this one. We're racing a stump. He has no chance at all. And the strange thing is we can still increase our stats so much more. We didn't have to fly there. We just hopped into the water. Look at his face. I wish we had the option in this one to leave banana peels and stuff. We'd win by an even bigger margin and just mess with the other ducks. That's really what it's all about at this point. They have no chance of winning anyway. Like, we're not even touching the ground anymore. We're just flying over the finish line. Which brings us to city life. We don't have any jumping skills yet, but I feel like the rest of ours aren't going to get us there. And off we go. I don't... Oh, here's where the jumping comes in. Okay, jumping is just a speed thing, because he's probably going to jump that pretty quick. But luckily, we can make up for other skills with all of our other skills. Last one is jumping off a car, but we won. We have level zero jumping and we absolutely destroyed the jumping guy. Ooh, I like these trainings. It's basically don't let the duck get crushed. I just like the part where the duck does get crushed. It's pretty easy to start. We don't even have any proper jumping skills. In games like this, a lot of what gets me in trouble is trying to collect the coins, which is really dumb because we really don't need coins considering we have unlimited money. We basically have unlimited whatever we want. Okay, that's going to be a problem. This will get tricky because you need to <laughs> like position Hey, right, that happened. What? It wouldn't let me move. We still got a lot of experience for that though, so that would be a really easy one to train if you wanted to do it, you know, without cheating. So the next jumping training is using a pogo stick to try and uh, orient yourself for how far you want to bounce in any direction. This would get kind of crazy, but I could see this being a really good training. If you spent just a few minutes getting the hang of this, you would be pretty much unstoppable on a pogo stick and get a lot of experience. Basically, you just bounce yourself closer to the next hole in a controlled manner and then jump over it. And then it's just a matter of reacting to uh, surprising jumps that take you in a weird direction. And then when you've had enough of them, you smash his head into the ground. That also got us a lot of experience. So this one is basically follow the instructions. Uh, just do what it's telling you to do. So you got to start on his face, do a backflip, and land on his back. Which is actually kind of hard to get right. It's very particular about how it wants you to do this. I can say this isn't exactly my favorite training so far. So we do a back, we do a front flip, and we land on his feet. And then we do the same thing again. Back, front flip, land on the feet. Then we land on his head, do a front flip, and land on his face. Okay, that didn't count. Uh, some successful tricking and we got a few levels. Level 37 jump isn't that high in most regards, but it's better than zero and all of our other skills will, <laughs> will carry us through this anyway. So we're going to jump across that gap and we won by so much. Again, I don't know if we're even going to see the other duck. Okay, so then say we had level 333 jumping also. Kind of makes me wonder what it would look like when we cross the gap. So he jumps across that one without even stopping, goes up here. This will be the jump gap and he just does it. No hesitation whatsoever. Okay, this is the final duck we need to feet before entering the tournament for the city. I feel like we got the skills on our side. He's got to wait for his jump. I don't. I just go for it. That was actually a really short race. Really, really short. I decided for the tournament we needed 500 skills across the board, so we're like 50% better again. So I feel like our odds of winning this are pretty good, considering the maximum level is supposed to be 150 and... Uh-oh. Maybe we broke it. Maybe we've gone too far. Hmm. 
Well, that was an unintended consequence. Can the race just end so we can move on to the next one? I feel pretty confident about the other races. Okay, yeah, we got the countdown. The other deck's clearly finished. We got stuck between the cars. So as long as we don't have to race any cars or anything, we're going to be okay because our skills will carry us elsewhere. Okay, I think we're going too fast. The game just sort of breaks because we jump over things. So we'll go back to a more neutral 333 skill level for now. The game still did seem to function at that point. Uh, yeah, that might still be a problem. I've reduced things back down to 200, which is still ridiculously fast, like way faster than what you're supposed to be able to do, but the game can at least handle this for now. It's the jumping. The jumping introduced new problems. So we picked up one e easy victory. As long as we don't overshoot this little jump, we're going to be fine, and I think at 200, we're very much in control. And life is good again. 200 means an easy victory for absolutely everything. And we could probably do five times as fast hopefully more. Uh, in this one, we flew across the entire water section. Everyone else has to swim like idiots. Cars are going to be my main enemy moving forward, I can already tell. That unlocked the volcano, which has a box with three chains on it. This race has some steep cliffs. You better be a good climber. You can say my climbing skills are adequate. Level 500 climbing, we're going to put that to the test. This will probably be a pretty comfortable victory. Up we go. Double roll going across. Up we go. Over we go. Up we go. As long as we don't have any gaps to land on, we're going to be unstoppable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, sometimes less is more. Mm, maybe we'll just try a different race. There is some jumping here, but we might go so quick, we might just gap over the gaps, like, without actually proper jumping. Oh, uh, no, this will work. Okay. Got a pretty commanding victory so far. Just, yeah, actually, when we get to fly, too, we'll fly over everything, because we have such strong flying skills. We're done. That gives us one of the keys we need. Since I wasn't good enough, I went ahead and upgraded my duck to 666. He's now a very evil duck. So we're going to go ahead and try this race even quicker than before. And I think we're going to start with a pretty commanding lead. The duck is <laughs> just like a blink. He just disappears. He faces away into uh, anything. And we're done. Even had a weird little jump at the end for some reason. For the original race, I've turned my skills back down to 200, which is still way above what's normally achievable, just so we could finish this race. It really helps to put it into contrast. With level 200, we beat him by a lot, but it wasn't like it was at level 700. We're going to unlock the box now, which means we get to blow something up, which gives us fire duck. Because I am raising a duck on fire, I've gone ahead and increased my stats to the maximum I can achieve right now, 1,000. Uh, well, it was originally one, <laughs> uh, whatever. So I've increased my stats to what appear to be 999. So let's see how fire duck compares to this skill. Oh, he gets to levitate. That's not fair. Oh, why are we moving? Oh, I might have broken the game. Oh, I've got to physically move the duck this time. I didn't know that. I should really spend more time reading. Just like in general. I'd probably be so much smarter if I did. And we beat Fire Duck. But here's what level 999 looks like against a regular duck in a regular race. And I didn't think we we're going to win this one. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> commanding lead. We even flew through the exit. So I don't think anyone's going to be beating this duck anytime soon. He's a universe destroyer. But here's where things get fun again. It seems like we can have a max of 999 because even when I set my stats to 10,000, they still show 1,000. But then when you go into a race, it shows 10,000. So I can't help but wonder what point the game is going to break. 10,000 is pretty <laughs> quick and we're done. <laughs> I don't actually know if he won that or not. We crossed the finish line, but it might have been too quick to count. Yeah, I don't think that counted, but I'm going to consider that a win regardless. No, wait, there's a countdown. We just finished so quick, it felt like it wasn't going to end. Now, it only shows 100,000 here, but it is up to a million. I don't know if it actually registers or not anymore, but we'll find out soon. 3, 2, 1, and blast off. Yeah, I'd say that I'd say that works. I've gone ahead and added uh several more digits. For some reason this did change. We're at like a hundred million or something at this point, which looks something like this, and we <laughs> touch down and we're done. The game didn't break though, that's really impressive. Let's uh let's ramp things up a little bit. Uh, I put the skills up to about a hundred billion, so we'll see how the duck reacts to that. I ran out of energy. That actually makes a lot of sense. So I've turned on unlimited energy. Our skills have gone very negative, which might be why the energy was a problem. So 100 billion level duck, and he just dies. So then presumably, whatever this translates into, uh, probably level a billion roughly, we should work. Because I think we hit the integer limit or whatever it's called. <laughs> but I mean, we don't need to be any faster than this. I think we've succeeded in creating a duck that's way beyond anything ever. 